The fourth planet is one of our closest neighbors and brightest lights in the night sky. It's fascinated human beings since recorded history began, and since the dawn of space travel, it's been a tempting target. In recent years, the dream of hosting the first extraterrestrial colony on the red planet has moved ever closer to a reality. Let's explore Mars. Named for the Roman god of war, Mars is about half the diameter of Earth, with only 40% of our planet's gravity. The atmosphere is thin, slowly stripped away by solar winds, and comprised almost entirely of carbon dioxide. The surface temperatures peak around 35 degrees centigrade on a summer day and drop as low as minus 225 at the polar caps in winter. It's a bleak place to imagine living. Similarly dramatic is the planet's geography. The Valles Marineris Canyon is five times the length and four times the depth of the Grand Canyon, and Olympus Mons may be the largest volcano in the solar system. Perhaps Mars' best known feature is its reddish hue, which is caused by high concentrations of iron-3 oxide, otherwise known as rust, in the soil that covers most of the planet's surface. Mars is joined in the sky by two small moons. Deimos, the smaller of the two, is named for the Greek god of terror, son of Ares and twin brother of Phobos. Just 15 kilometers wide, at its widest point, Deimos's distant orbit and irregular shape give no clues to its origins, which are still hotly debated. Deimos's twin is Phobos, Mars's largest and closest moon. Its orbit is so close to Mars and so fast that from the Martian surface it rises in the west and sets in the east just four hours later, making three orbits every Martian day. It is also unknown how Phobos came to orbit the planet, but what is known is that it is not solid rock, with up to a third of its body being empty void. Humanity has long held a romantic view of Mars. From the ancients who named it after a god, to science fiction authors and early astronomers who speculated about the life forms that might reside there, we have long looked to Mars as a likely candidate for future exploration and colonization. The last half century has seen man-made craft orbit, land on, and even explore Mars. This picture, taken from NASA's Mars Curiosity rover, shows a true view of the Martian landscape, completely unknown just 30 years before. Right now, in 2021, the Mars Perseverance rover is searching for signs of microbial life in Mars's history, as well as gathering useful data to help with future missions to the planet, and of course, sharing incredible images of the planet's surface like this one. So what is the future for Mars? In the last decade, Many private companies have announced their intentions to visit, settle, and colonize Mars. Its climate, geology, and location all make it one of our best prospects for facilitating humankind's transition to a truly spacefaring race. We could see permanently populated settlements on Mars within the next decade, and in the long term, even see the planet's surface radically change through terraforming to allow people to live outside of environmentally controlled spaces. For all that the planet has been a feature of our sky since humanity began, our relationship with it is just beginning to flourish. Thanks for watching, and check out our channel and subscribe for more incredible 360 and VR videos about our planet and the space beyond it.